What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, where we left off was we just got into Chapter 3. We are now in a new location. It's, like, much southern. It's kind of by Rhodes and St. Dennis. And I accidentally walked into a mission, so we're just going to get right into it. What's in and up down here? My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Are we fishing again? Oh my gosh. This fishing stuff, man, I can't do it. I just thought about it. Old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather was... My days are looking good a long way. By the way, we have a level six beard now. It's not level five anymore. All right, gentlemen, let me show you how it's done. Coming through. Okay, go. Are we just gonna fish again? Because uh. couple and their unruly son it feels good here you did well finding that spot arthur more charles than me it's like i can breathe again thick and soupy as this air is might even do your whistling pipe some good hosea i was once in this country with bessie ah, feels like a lifetime ago it was a lifetime ago but what a life we have lived how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local towns. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure than no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Boo! Gentlemen, well, ah! look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, 
What did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Get in there. Come on, we're losing them. We're no, you're not. Max, we're not losing them. Exactly. Master, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Looks like you son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. I am. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. Hey, cut that out. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Hey, settle down. Okay, that was very you terrible. Need to get alongside it. I'm getting there. This is as fast as my horse is allowing me to go. Watch out, he's throwing bottles at us. Yeah, I can tell. Come on, get to the side of that train. What the hell are you doing? Get a move on. Okay. Keep us close to the train. Hurry, get alongside it. Get closer. I am. <laughs> I got it. Oh, barely. Oh, I thought he was riding my horse. Well, that that's a that's a boner kill right there. Uh, oh, I do have I do have some charge. Okay, awesome. Rechargeable bat. I literally have been using these rechargeable batteries for like four years now. That is a miracle that I can just like plug them in and then they'll be nice and dandy. So, but before we play, we have to plug in these because if I don't plug them in now, I will not remember to do so. So. Plug them in right now, and then you gotta put it in, in this thing, and then you just plug it into the wall, and skedaddle, skedoodle, your batteries are charging, rechargeable batteries, coming to a star near you. Come on, Mr. Callahan, I'm relying on you. My name's Mr. Morgan, I'm just kidding, I know that we said that it was Callahan. What'd I do? I, I felt oh the Gray's jurisdiction. Okay. Bot says I, I can't get him in St. Dennis, so yeah, but I had to get him in that jurisdiction. In that area. You know, it was my controller disconnecting, that's what it was. It would have been super close either way. Didn't hold that my horse wouldn't let me jump on, because I think I was supposed to be on the other side of the train trying to jump on. <laughs> Maybe it'll give me more fair uh, chance to do it now. Go, get after them. Yeah, it's giving me a more fair chance now. Come on, shit bag. Bastard. Damn, bastard. Get the hell away from me. Okay. 
I didn't know how much I was able to get away with until he countered it. It's chilling here. Dodging him, I'm pressing. I'm so. Come on. Come on. I'm right you yeah, you want to? Yeah, I need you. Be quite honest, it'd be nice if you can, like, come in here. And, like, Lose my gosh darn hat. Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. I didn't think he'd actually die. Dang it! I didn't think he'd actually die. I thought he would have. <laughs> I know he would have died in real life if I just kept like kicking him when he was knocked out, but like, I thought it would just be like, yeah, he's knocked out. Do whatever the fuck you want to him. So. I failed this mission like twice already. Okay. What a great, what a great mission. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Oh, shh. I have to do it all over again. Okay, I don't care. I'll kill him again. Or not kill him. Sorry. Hurt him. Really bad. Get out of here, boy. Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Ah. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Anders Anderson. Take him in. Come on. Fine job. Well done. And Thank you, man. For me, for stopping the train. There you go. You are a next. Oh, right next to St. Dennis. That was pretty close. All right, let's take him in. Call him in. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, nope. not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? Oof. This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said just got down here another big family in these parts they have an estate west of here awful people truly awful they've been fighting with the grays for as long as i can remember sounds like quite the place you got here i want to rob one of these big houses there's a lot of like rich people stuff in these houses 100 bucks 
bear left. Okay, well, row. Row. Which has asked the game to not use weapons or cause trouble in roads. Okay. I can do that, I guess. But if I happen to run over someone when I'm driving a train, that is not my fault at all. I think I've been down here one time. I feel like I have. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Ah. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. Oh, good. Ooh, they're back. Ah. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? <gasps> okay, this way. Hey, Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins and not marrying. Arthur, that's it. Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some stuff. Super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. <laughs> I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. <laughs> Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaite's. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? I'm not going to uh, fish. I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. Uh, why are all these shops closed? Hello, mister. First time for all of us. Uh, let's see if they actually have anything different down here. Feel free to browse goods and sundries on the shelves. There's a full range in the catalog hmm. right here. What was I trying to, what am I trying to look at? Hunting and fishing. I wonder if you could buy poles, like different poles, or is it just like, uh... Actually, I'll just buy a whole bunch of bait. Uh... Like lures, worms. That'll be good because we can actually fish off of our little lake that we have. And then, we're different outfits here. 
Um, I believe so. So we're gonna purchase this. Mm, we're just gonna purchase. Does that have? Oh, I thought they had like three leaf clovers, clovers on it. Okay, so we got the Heartlands completed. I'm assuming that's like a a clothing line. That's actually a pretty cool outfit. And then, oh, is there new hats down here? Or do we? Okay, no, we we own all the hats. That's what I that's what I did. I spent a whole bunch of like time off camera just buying a whole bunch of hats. So there's different hour, hours, outfits in different places. And as you can see, we do not have the good enough honor to actually buy this and prove your honor to unlock this item. So we'll have to do that at a different time. Out of that. So uh, we're going to play one more mission, I believe. Is this considered a hot or cold? After. Well, no, once it says, like, I thought it's getting hot. New weapons, that's the question. Is there new weapons here? Oh, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? There you are. Browse catalog. And no man. Some ammunition's on the shelves, but I keep the guns locked. Take a look at the catalog, and I'll pull out anything you'd like Revolvers. to see. Okay, now let me see. Double action revolver. We actually have unlocked a new weapon. We've gotten the double action revolver. I'll, I'll customize this at a different time because I'm going to buy two of them. That, therefore, I can dual wield them if I want to. And then, I'll, again, I'll just customize these at a different time. So that means we have to have, like, different rifles and stuff unlocked. Nope, we don't have that one. We don't have that one. We don't have this one. We don't have any of these, which is kind of sad. Anything. Anything. Pump action shotgun. There you are. Okay, I might customize this just because we have to customize a weapon. And of course, it has to be the shotgun, the length. We gotta go for the long barrel. I literally saw like the smallest difference there. Improve rifling, of course. And then we're gonna get that the beautiful iron sights. First, yeah, iron sights. And then wide stock or wide grain stock. And we gotta put the wrap on there. This is gonna look kind of cool with the gold, I'm assuming. The metal. No, not that. Not that. Uh, maybe it'd just be easier to go down here. Is that just like a plain black? Yeah, black and steel. You can just get an all black weapon. Be kind of cool. And we gotta get the engravings on it. That's gotta be gold as well because we don't we don't set, settle for anything less. We don't. We gotta put the bear grip on it. In terms of the leather, we're gonna have to do this one, which really. Shuts down the, the carvings that we put on it, and then we gotta get the. This. We gotta get this one. That looks pretty nice, to be quite honest. And then ammunition, we gotta. Is there fire ammo? No. All right. Sadly. Sadly. Now, is there anything else we could buy? No, but there is ammo, so we're gonna buy some ammo as well. Mm. And then, nope, nope, nope. Okay, we're good. So we did unlock some new weapons since we are in uh, chapter two, or three, we, we've entered chapter three. And then I'm also going to buy a newspaper, because I know these are sometimes good for the story. Buy all these. Where's my horse? Oh, it's all the way over here. Go to any gunsmith shop, band oiler, and gun belt so you can hold more ammunition. Allow you to upgrade them. You're not carrying your purchase weapons. Your previous firearms have been stowed on your horse. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do one more mission. We're gonna do the gray mission over here where we have to explore the the gray kind of family. And I feel I feel like I see like a um like, we're gonna have to pick what family we're gonna fight for. I see that coming soon. Maybe we shouldn't, like, hop on their fields. Hey, hey. And, like, uh, it's like a gate that opens. Yeah, it is, okay. It's like, maybe we shouldn't, like, dance on their tobacco fields. Probably wouldn't like that. This is a nice estate. Can we go up to these guards? Well, you, this here the gray plantation? Yep. Gallagher Hall. 
and that's as close as you're getting to it. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Legion. All right, have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Alright, so now we're gonna ask about the family. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Wood Boy's store. got all the time in the world. Where'd my horse go? My god, where the hell are you going? Okay, boy. Get over to the wood, the wood store, wood shop, whatever it is. It's a big area. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me. Friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty, and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Okay, I was about to say, don't give me the choice. <sighs> Alright. I'm glad I didn't have to make a choice. That makes it a lot easier on me. So I was like, technically, I don't care about the money. It's like a maze. So you can just like run freely through this, which is nice. You'd think you could pull some of these tobacco plants and kind of use the tobacco from them. Maybe. I don't know. This, this opens. Oh, I was going to jump over it anyways. Uh. I just love seeing my reaction. It's so funny. Like when I'm like, uh. when I like fall off my horse or some shit. I like it when it like stops, it just like <laughs> but We gotta sneak onto the property Level 3 bonding, you've unlocked skitter <gasps> Oh yes, we unlocked drifting Yes, 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 yes And we are getting increased uh, stamina and health and all that fun stuff Is this their property? said sneak but um if it tells me i failed then i failed so where's she at the other side i feel like i'll be better just swimming to be quite honest with you i think like i'd be 10 times better just swimming okay stop coughing you're fine those are guards. That's a guard. Hi. Okay. This, uh... 
what I do for young love. Amazing. They should pop up on the mini map if they are there. I want to make sure no more like spawn out here. It's like I could sneak along the coast. I'll be completely fine if I'm just sneaking along the rocks, the water. It makes it easier that's foggy, but like for them, it's probably not foggy. They could still like aimbot me. I'll be like, wait a minute. I think I'm gonna just like keep leveling up this horse that we have. Cause I like the, I don't know, I like this horse. Okay, is there like a little bit of water? So last time I swam, I ran out of stamina. Oh, this isn't that long, I can swim. But when you run out of stamina, you're just sitting there. You like stop moving thinking like, hey, I'll gain stamina if I just stop moving. But technically you're still swimming. So then you lose health because you have no stamina. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like... Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because... Personally, I think Ohio is not a bad place to live as I've been living here all my... 16 years of my existence. So, next time you talk shit about Ohio, Penelope, I'm going to drown your ass in this. I'm going to hogtie your ass and then throw you in the lake to drown your ass. Continue. He's a vicious snob. Families are, are, they're something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what oh to boy. say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, it didn't feel too good. Maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? You see that cake? Sure. We're gonna swim across. So we can't be seen, but we can get be heard. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I will get there. I don't think there's anybody. Does it still show where they're at? Yeah. Oh, but my horse is like right there. I'm just going to leave out this way, because there's no guards out here. I think. Yeah, we're, we're just close. I'll just tell my horse to come over to me. We're about out. There you go. Oh, I ran out of stamina. He's just going to come out of the fog with me. What up, man? You hear him? 
Hey, there you are. There's still there's a rainbow if you could. It's like very hard to see. It's like right above my horse's head. Uh, yeah, it's right above my horse's head. Okay. Come on, boy. I'm gonna go give it to Bo. And then it's right there. Looks like it's ends right here. <gasps> Is there a pot of gold in this forest? Is that a coon? Okay, we're gonna go get the letter to Bo real quick and then we'll end the episode. Uh, that might start another mi That might start another mission. So, uh, I will- I'm probably just gonna end it right here. So if you enjoyed it, press the like button, subscribe if you know. So that's all I got. See ya. I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit, that's all, folks. <laughs>